Some things in life need to be celebrated with not just a little bit but a lot of meetha. Hi everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and this is a very very special video on my channel. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I recently got an electric car. I got the Tata Nexon and let me just take you through that day. It was such an important and exciting and such a happy day of my life. This was always a part of my checklist like you know I had a whole set of things that I needed to do by a certain age and uh, I hadn't done this. Had I bought a car sooner, it definitely wouldn't have been an electric. But uh, now this is there in my life and uh, I'm super duper excited. I wanted to vlog that day but uh, somehow I just felt like that day deserves like my whole 100% attention. But I still got like a few video clips which I wanted to keep which I'm sharing with you. These are very very personal like my family and stuff is there when we are going and taking the cars. I want you guys to be a part of that journey as well. Since 2020 September, I was looking for a car and I test drove quite a few cars right from Nissan Magnite to Tata Tigor and I actually almost bought the Tigor but then I think my husband kind of uh, advised me to try an electric car and to be honest I wasn't very very sure about it because I was like uh, it can be a little bit of a janjat but then I drove the Nexon and I was like wow this is it. I booked the car in June of 2021 and I got the delivery in October. I think it was two or three days before the Shara during Navratri that I ended up going and picking up my car. The color that I went for is the signature blue. I picked up the base model, the XM variant. To celebrate this personal milestone, I'm here at Meetha by Radisson. Beautiful, luxurious, Mithai shop inside Radisson in Mumbai and this is actually like a sub-brand by the Radisson group. The variety of Mithai is enormous here. I can see at least 40 to 50 different types of Indian sweets, fusion sweets and uh, let me just take you through the entire store once. So you can basically look around their entire variety and decide what you feel like trying and then you can buy it. So many different mithais and what I ended up picking up, Kaju Katli. If like me, you're also a Kaju Katli fan, then make sure you let me know in the comments below. But for now, hmm. this is one that I found a little bit different. This is a rose petal and a gulkand laddu. I love rose. I love gulkand. So I had to try this. Wow, I can't stop eating this. So I don't know if you can see, but there is like a layer of gulkan inside. Outside, I think it's cashew. Normally, you'll have like one or two petals placed on Indian Mithai for like, you know, decoration purposes. But this is, you can actually feel that rose. Now, they do have a lot of classics, but they also have like a bit more fusion take on classics. So this here is a lavender motichu laddu. Color to hai lavender type, dark lavender type. But uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. So the minute I realized that it's called Lavender Motichur Laddu, I just had to get that lavender aroma whiff but uh, all I can smell is ghee. There was so much variety, it was such a task choosing what I want in my Mithai box. So I just told them, put in something new, something different, at least that way I'll try something other than Kaju Katli and my typical favourites. Here I'm just um, having a Petha Paan. Now I love Petha, especially Paan flavoured Petha, I was like I want to try this. And I promise after this, uh, I need something fika, so maybe I will go grab lunch, but it's chilled. I need to get out of here, otherwise I'm just going to eat up the whole shop. Their Mithai boxes start at rupees 820 for a 12-piece box and you can select from a 12-piece, 16-piece, 25-piece and a 36-piece. And uh, their Bengali Mithai start at rupees 40 per piece. You can take your pick and come and design your own Mithai boxes with whatever Mithai you like. Ah, finally, something non-sweet. It's supposed to be a pink sauce pasta, but I'm feeling like it's a little more cheesy, but I'm not complaining. It's got lots of veggies, bell peppers, zucchini, and I've overdosed on chili flakes. This is super duper cheesy. 
it's more cheesy pasta than pink sauce but i'm really enjoying it now i've been using the ev for about 2 to 1 and a half weeks and uh, i have to say i'm pretty impressed firstly the car is so smooth this is one of the things that i like about the car that i'm already driving and it is so quiet like right now the car is on but there's absolutely no sound the ac is on there is a the sound of the ac but apart from that it is so quiet it's like a really hybrid car before this i was driving a sedan i was driving the skoda lora and uh, from that to this world of a difference i realized that for a person like me who is mostly going to be driving in the city this is one of the best cars that you can find firstly it turns out to be extremely value for money because it runs on electricity and charging is much cheaper than filling your car with fuel the whole ev infrastructure is actually growing and tata is actually really pushing forward on that which uh, made this a very very good option for me a lot of you will ask kitna deti hai on a full charge on a 100% charge Currently, my average is about 200 kilometers. As they say, the more you drive the car, average performs better. So, I'm hoping for that. This is where the charger connects, and on a daily basis, the slow charger is to be used, which is installed by Tata Motors before the car delivery, and it takes about eight to ten hours to fully charge the car. And now, many fuel pumps and places on highways have an EV charger, so that helps charge the car to about 80% in half an hour. The base model of the car costs slightly over 15 lakhs, but currently the Maharashtra government does have an EV subsidy policy, which is launched to give a push to this ecosystem. Even the newly launched Tata Tigor EV with Ziptron comes under this subsidy. In the base model which is the XM model of the Nexon the ORVMs are manually opened and closed and there is no screen and rear view camera however there is an infotainment system along with Harman Kardon speakers and also reverse parking sensors now this what you see is actually a top end model of the same car and i feel like a single color ends up looking so much better than a dual tone roof the inside of the car is comfortable and it has that compact suv feel The design is exactly like the non-EV Nexon, like the regular Nexon. Just these blue strips in the design can be used to identify it as an EV. And the reason I went for the blue color in the EV was because the teal blue body and the light blue strips merge very well together. One thing that I had to make peace with is that the car means a change in behavior. Like I have to remember to charge my car, else I can't go anywhere. and if i plan a road trip i have to see ev charging capabilities either on the highway or the hotel property where i plan to stay i'm not an automobile blogger so i guess i'll just leave a link to the website for more technical details which i'm sure all of you will want to read so i just wanted to let you guys know and come and celebrate here a little bit with some meetha and some good food and uh, i will do a few trips with this like you know close to mumbai so let me know if you guys want me to film those for you And yeah that is really it from me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a very different vlog but a very very special one. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.